last week. Uh, coming out and I'm hunting a different alfalfa field this week. We just got some snow yesterday, so I don't know what that'll do to them. I don't know if they moved roost or if they, whatever. I haven't heard any talking yet. And it's getting about that time. Running the same kind of decoy spread I set up last week. Just the Jake and a hen. I don't want to put out a full strutter out just yet. I still think it's a little early. They're not really end up and whatnot. So just going with that and uh, we'll see what happens. I've got the 28 gauge out here today. So obviously kind of want them pretty close. And uh, all we got to do now is wait. It's supposed to get a little windy today too and not too warm. So hopefully they get down off the roost wherever they're at and uh, come this way. I think those are turkeys up there in the trees. I'm not 100%, but if they come this way, we'll find out. But they haven't really docked yet. That turkey's way out there. Pretty good size flock. They're kind of just hanging on the edge here. got down they went into these trees and I think they just kept heading east so never heard them after that had a hen and a dom come up from somewhere to the south of me and they came behind me and then went in these trees and looked like they were heading that way too so my hope is that they'll come back this way at some point before they go back to roost I mean if I had to stay out here all day I'm sure they would either wander through the alfalfa field or through these trees but they went in these trees and they kept going down the line so the hope is some of them will come back this way here maybe an hour less than ideally but we'll see I don't know it's pretty windy so they might just want to stick to these trees today I just picked up and back to the truck and then I see some turkeys out in the field and there was a nice dom out there, so gotta see if we can't put the snake on him here. Just run and gun here. We'll see. Fingers crossed. All right, all right, turkey number two on the year. <sighs> so I came and you can see it's pretty thick timber throughout here, but there's a trail, there's a pretty good trail. And the snow yesterday helped wetting down everything. So I didn't make a lot of noise coming in here. And I got right here to this edge and I popped over. And unfortunately I didn't have my face mask. I forgot my face mask today. So it wasn't ideal, but we made it work. I was laying right here and I had my gun rested up on a stick right through that gap you can see them laying there and there was hens one of them came I bet five yards up to me and they started putting they started so I just started doing that to make them think I was just another turkey and I could see this guy I could hear him strutting I could hear him you know getting all puffed up and fanned out 
and he has a good beard on him just from uh, what I saw from out here. So I waited and I had a gap throughout these trees, a hole, and he got his head. He was came drumming right up there and he came strutting right up there and then I went <laughs> and just made a shot. One shot, 28 gauge, five shot, full choke, lead, all you need. That's all you need. Let's go take a look at this guy. All right, there he is. Look at that guy. Gorgeous old goblet. Let's see that beard on him. Yeah, a little spindlier, but I bet that's, oh, we'll get a measurement on, sure, that's at least nine. Let's see the spurs on him. Ooh, those are some nice spurs. Look at those. At least an inch, I guess. Nice mature tom. He's got the full out fan there. That's a, that's a nice bird. Beautiful bird. Oh, that is a great opening day of shotgun season. You know, I sat up my ground blind this morning. Thought I was going to get some in. They came down and they just hung out in the corner of the field I was hunting this morning. And then they ran up into the tree line here. But I didn't see any toms out there either. I thought I did. And I started looking closer and closer. They were actually just jakes. You could see once they would strut, they had the top two feathers were longer. So, and I wasn't gonna shoot a Jake. I don't, don't wanna shoot a Jake with my shotgun. So, didn't even have to worry about them. And I didn't see them. I heard the hens talking occasionally. That was it. Moved up into the tree line a little ways down and nothing. Didn't hear any, didn't see any. And sat up there a couple hours and I was like, you know, I'm just gonna call her. As I was walking back, look back and I see a whole bunch of hens and this Tom out here strutting. Like, okay, I think I might be able to do this. As soon as I popped over here, just observing, waiting for this Tom. I could see him strutting through the trees. And I was waiting for him to get to this gap here. And he had to get to this gap and he had to put his head up. And he did both of those things. He got to the gap. He was a little further off to the side at one point and then he was kind of working this way. He went <laughs> and that brought that Tom right to the hole here in the trees and it got his head up and here we are nice old tom measured him out beard nine inches on the dot and the spurs those are some crazy spurs probably the longest spurs that i've shot in a while and they were an inch and an eighth oh it, it worked out though it worked out you know spot and stock i'm more you know i like watching them come in i like watching them work and fan out it's just not that time of year yet. It's They're not split up from the hens. They're not fired up hardly at all. And, you know, you basically got to get the hens in to get the toms in. That's what happened last week with the bow. And then this tom was with all the hens. But going to call that a day. And uh, <laughs> I've got some work to do now. So thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to like and subscribe and be sure to go out there and support those conservation organizations. National Wild Turkey Foundation, Ducks Limited, Delta Waterfowl, it doesn't matter, there's one out there for you. They do a ton of good work. So be sure to go out there and support them and we'll catch you out there guys. See ya.